Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I did a hair video. Today is going to be me installing a U part wig. This wig is from Genoda Hair. It is 20 inches and it's a body wave U part wig. So, this is what it looks like. You guys saw how I parted my hair. You're going to see how I'm going to basically manipulate that. So, this hair comes with a lot of clips and this is just to help the U part wig stay on your head and really fit. So this was me measuring it. I'm just going to undo the clips and then install them. I basically parted my hair to a middle part and then I also left some parts of the front out and this is just to make it look even more realistic. So basically you guys can see that you don't need a closure or a frontal to rock your hair and these kind of wigs are usually so affordable you can see me instantly when you're doing this you want to be so careful because <laughs> i hurt myself a couple of times and that's because my braids were like really really tight so that's just one thing to look out for this was my first time trying a u part wig so i was basically going off of videos that i had watched so one tip is that you don't want your braids to be too too tight except you don't mind yeah so i'm just fixing the clips in all the areas there are some clips at the sides in the middle and also at the back all these clips are basically going to make sure your wig isn't going anywhere it was super comfortable when i fixed all of this and yeah So you guys can see my hair texture is very similar to the texture of the wig so it's going to be so easy for it to blend and I feel like even if you have natural hair you can make this work by blow drying your hair and then flat ironing it so I braided my hair so it became wavy so I always want to make sure that your hair is straight your hair is, just make sure that your hair is basically mimicking what the wig looks like so i drew a middle part as you can see on my first try it was almost perfect <laughs> but yeah i'm just going to go ahead to somewhat perfect that and make sure that it's in the middle perfectly and i'm using a tail comb to do that so now i'm just going to go ahead and apply some heat protector on my hair because we're going to be using a lot of heat during this process first of all i'm going to go in with a flat iron just to make sure my hair is straight because earlier on i braided it so it became wavy and i needed to like really look slick and flat and basically mimic a frontal stroke closure more of a frontal guys you want to be very careful while doing this and you always want to apply heat protector um i'm using i use the Cantu one so yeah any heat protector you have i'm sure will be fine but yeah this is just going to help to prevent heat damage you can see how it's almost perfect <laughs> we're not there yet but we're very close so now i'm just going to take out the braids i did in front I'm also going to do the same thing here apply heat protector i didn't show that part and then flat iron the hair same old same old you guys can see how much steam is coming out from my hair this is because i basically drenched my hair with heat protector because this part is thinner and yeah this was the heat protector trying to dry <laughs> i did it to both sides Bye. 
and then I added some wax to my edges just to slick it down even more and then I'm going in with a hot comb guys this is a whole lot of heat um, that will be used in this process so that's why you always want to make sure that you use a heat protector like I mentioned and showed earlier on I use the Kanto heat protector so yeah I'm just going to use a hot comb to make this flat and make this blend in even more with my natural hair and basically look like this is all me this is all my hair Look at this, you can't tell me this isn't my hair. This is my hair. Nobody can tell me nothing. This is my real hair, period. <laughs> so now I went ahead to do my makeup and I did some swoops on my edges and uh, I curled one side of the hair. I'm just going to be showing you guys how I curl the other side. What I basically do, do is that I curl the hair away from my face. So i curl the hair in a direction that is away from my face yes that's how i curl my hair so this is the back so for the back i don't really bother how i curl it i just curl it anyway but then when i get to the front i make sure that i'm curling it away from my face just so the curls are not like falling to my face i don't know if that makes sense but you guys are just going to watch what i do so guys now that everything looks literally beautiful i'm just going to use my fingers to you know detangle the curls and yeah this is how it looks my hair is from Jonoda hair like i mentioned earlier on i'm going to leave all the details in the description box below make sure you guys go and patronize them this hair is really really affordable um it is basically less than even 30k in naira a year <laughs> so there's no frontal there's no closure you just use your natural hair they have it in different textures there's curly there's straight and yeah make sure you just go to their website and check it out thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you'll be trying this hair out if you do make sure you tag me on instagram and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye Oh!